145. Hey guys, so um, somebody in my comments, you know, was like, oh, um, they said something about Bambi and Erica trying to, you know, I don't know what they were trying to say, but they were, they were, they were basically saying something that I have to respond to. Um, I think they said Erica has it worse or something like that, or Bambi and Erica, as far as the parenting situation, you know, they have it work. Um, they are equal, and I'm like, baby, no, they're not. Um, uh, this is Imani. Erica basically and Scrabby they went half on the car for Imani, and you know, monthly you have car notes. So basically, this was in August of 2022. So it was time for the monthly car note payment in Erica LLC, as you can see, is there. That's her check for the half of the car note. Well, Scrap, you know, he missed the, he missed his half, and people had to come through for him financially. Bambi's gonna have to deal with time deal with this times three. This is her life, okay? Her children are like what four? Very small. You got eighteen years, right? What's eighteen times three? That amount is how many months? I'm sorry, um, 18 times three, that amount is how many years that Bambi's going to be in bondage and in slavery when it comes to having to take care of these kids all alone. The single parent that she made fun of Erica for being or tried to down Erica for being, which is not a down when you're a boss and you take care of your kid when the baby daddy that she's bragging about being with doesn't pull his weight. But um, what she downed Erica for, oh, baby mama, single parent, she already has been caught. She's a, she's a baby mama and she's a single parent, just how she used to down Erica for. And um, the internet is already calling her a baby mama. It's like, God is just like, it's, it's crazy how, you know, embarrassing this is, you know, it's like nobody got embarrassed more than Bambi because Bambi was the one that was so like cocky. Had she not been so cocky, People wouldn't have been on her. People wouldn't be on her ass like this, but because she was so disrespectful and because she was so so cocky and so disrespectful to not just Erica but to many women, many many women, Shay, um, and Shay Shay didn't even do anything to her. Like she had never even met. Like Shay and Erica had an issue, and Erica don't even throw shade at Shay, ever. So Bambi and Shay, it's like, where does Bambi get the audacity to call Shay a side piece when you know you were one and Shay was never one because when Shay was in the picture, Scrappy and Erica had already broke up. So like, and Erica didn't identify Shay as the side piece. She ident identified you as the piece and Scrappy never defended you because you were. How you get called the side piece by, you, by the, the, the ex-fiance and your husband doesn't stand up and say, no, that's not true. Because it was true. He knew that you were like Little Caesar's Pizza in his phone, in his phone, Comcast in his phone. So he, he never defended um, Bambi. And that should be something that people need to notice, too. If somebody says something about you and your own husband doesn't defend you and try to fix it, yeah, there's nothing he can say because he knows that he can't play with Erica. He knows that he can't play with Big E. So ain't no like, okay, let me defend Bambi because he knows what he did and she knows what she did. That's why she's admitted her own karma in her little whack ass freestyle. Anywho, this right here is Erica basically stating, I'm so appreciative of family who steps in when things go undone by people who don't keep their word. It's been a continuous cycle, but I've always picked up where it was lack where there where there was lack kept it moving because I move on what's in the what's in the best interest of my children thanks to E-Money's granddad aunt and grandmothers for stepping in on today just know this village is and has always been appreciated let me read that again I'm so appreciative of family who steps in when things go undone by people who don't keep their word it's been a continuous cycle but I've always picked up where there was lack so Bambi used to be like, oh, you know, he takes care of his kid and, you know, she's lying and, you know, he pays his child support and that's, that, that's why he's so frustrated and she needs to boss up and move on and da 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 Years later, Bambi's like, he's an Instagram dad. Oh, you know, you need to help me more with the kids. Well, wasn't that Erica, like, you know, wasn't that what she, what she was talking about back in the day, but you said she was a bitter baby mother? Like, there was a lack, like she said, and that lack is scrappy support that you're not complaining of as well, not having. So everything that Erica has been saying has been precisely accurate. No bitterness, just factual. Bambi just felt like, you know, she was the idiot that basically felt like she was high and mighty because she got a ex 
superstar rapper who fell off his chariot a long time ago. And the best she could do was bag him. Bambi will never bag another another person that's higher than Scrappy. Nobody wants Bambi, you know, because she was always put in side chick position, even on Basketball Wives. Dudes don't want Bambi, okay? Stevie J didn't want Bambi because she tried to get with Stevie J after Benzino didn't work out because she was clout chasing and being a groupie. Stevie J said, I don't want her, according to Mama D, because he's not trying to step down from Jocelyn because at that time he was with Jocelyn and I'll pull up the lives. So it's like... No one's going to marry her ever. And no one's going to ever, ever, like, you know, want her. Because they don't. And you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Erica has has Erica has been proposed, like, what, three times? And she basically denied and declined. That's why she basically was a fiancé, but just said, no, I don't want to get married. But Erica definitely has a better chance of getting married, of course. You know, she definitely will get married one day. But I know for a fact that Bambi will never, ever, ever, ever be taken seriously by any man ever again. Because any real man can see through Bambi. Everything I'm saying about Bambi, her being cheap, her being dusty, her being, her having these buckaroos in her mouth, her having these big ass mother freaking ice cubes in her mouth, just white in color instead of clear, her being the, you know, the thought that she is deep down inside if your mom if mama d your mother-in-law on love and hip-hop when you had an abortion but lied and said it was a miscarriage because scrappy couldn't afford no kid he made you abort and you lied and said it was a miscarriage if mama d could sit up there and say well i heard that you are basically a smutted out and you would just get around from compton like that's that man's mom and mama d ears to the streets she used to be a pimp so you know she's hearing uh, she's gonna definitely investigate you and basically what well, what she find out that from Compton, you've been slutted out. You know, people have, you know, bust you down and people have had you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody took you serious. You were always the side piece, you know, <laughs> on Basketball Wives. Dudes basically always put her in that position. I believe she was dealing with Brooke Valentine's baby daddy. I forgot who it was. No, it was Brooke Bailey. Brooke Bailey was with a... Brooke Bailey was with a guy. Bambi was the side piece and they called him Black Santa. It's the article that he did on her. And he definitely cleared her and basically exposed Bambi for who she is. And I'll pull up that article, but that goes unnoticed. But anywho, um, yeah, but so yeah, nobody's ever going to take Bambi seriously. Eric, the only reason why Scrappy married Bambi was because Erica basically was driving, like I said, and parked the car. And then he let Bambi hop in the driver's seat only because, you know, Erica parked and got out. You know what I'm saying? And, um... You know, he left Bambi for um he left Bambi for Erica and went to Miami to be with and took my and took Erica to Miami. He left Bambi at one point to be with Erica, like how how because she was always that side piece, you know what I'm saying? And then he shot a video called You a side bitch catching main bitch feelings after he flew. Um what you call it? After he flew, what you call it, um, Erica out with him to Miami, leaving Bambi for dead or whatever. Like how, you know, Scrappy was messed up and left Erica um, for Diamond because, you know, Diamond was like famous and for clout. Scrappy left Bambi for um, Erica and went to Miami and shot a video called Side Bitch, Catching Main, Main Bitch Feelings. That was a shot at Bambi. I'll pull that up too. So Bambi always had her position as number two. So yeah, anywho, she's going to have to deal with this lack that Erica's talking about times three, 18 times three. That number of years is the bondage and the slavery she's going to be in trying to take care of kids that basically Scrappy's not going to be coming through for financially because he didn't do it with one Imani. She said she kept it moving because I move on. What's the, She kept it moving because I move on what's in the best interest of my children. And that's always been Erica. Anytime Erica has spoken, if you notice, it's always E-Money, 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 E-Money. I need money for braces for E-Money, E-Money, E-Money. Put money in E-Money's account. It's never been me and Scrap, me and Scrap, me and Scrap. It's, to Bambi, it's always been about me and Scrap, me and Scrap. Because she was trying to look for a come up, you know, for this rap career that she wants. Um, But... It was always about e-money, and that's why Erica used to go hard, but they called her bitter for going hard for her child, including um, Bambi. But now she wants sympathy on the internet, you know, trying to basically cry on the internet about her failed marriage and crying on the, um, the, the TV and internet about Scrappy's lack of financial support and presence in her children's life and, her, you know, him being 
his lack of presence in their marriage. And it's like, okay, stop crying and boss up and move on in the best interest of your child like Erica did. Erica had issues with Scrappy. He did you 10 times worse. What did Erica do? She basically just kept it moving and moved on the best interest of her, you know, her child and just kept on taking care of E-Money how she normally does. And Bambi should do the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, no handouts, no sympathy, no empathy at all. You know what I mean? It's like, now you understand how it means to have no support, to lack support. You crying on the internet and you crying on TV about Scrappy not supporting you. You're bitter. Okay, let's call you bitter because you said you said Erica was bitter because she used to talk about how Scrappy didn't pull his weight. That was bitterness to Bambi. Well, we're going to call Bambi bitter. You're bitter. Move on. Tighten up. You're low vibrational. I hate that for you. That's ugly. She said, thank you to Imani's granddad, aunt and grandmothers for stepping in on today. Just know this village is and has always been appreciated. So for the card note that Scrappy missed, Imani's granddad, aunt, and grandmothers was was who pulled through for Scrappy's end. So this is going to be lifelong for Bambi. She got three kids, like she's on death row, three life sentences with Scrappy to take care of these children, and she's going to always have to do it on her own. Because, I mean, like I said, like Imani was the golden child, and the golden child is the child that basically... Everyone adores and loves. That's the firstborn. So your money, of course, they're gonna pull through. You the side bitch. You you got the you the side bitch. You just you the bitch with the you you the side bitch with the side. How do I put it? The side chick and the side chick's kids, they definitely won't get the same treatment. And I'm just stating, like in the black community, this is very 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 like true. There's the golden child, and then there are the black sheep's right. Because Bambi put herself in a position to be the side piece and to be the enemy, especially with Mama D. Like, Mama D has never hated no female better than Bambi. Like, Bambi got Diamond and Erica beat. When they, when Erica and Diamond were beefing with Mama D, it was whatever. But this right here, I have never seen Mama D go on the internet and drag Erica and, 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 and Diamond or any woman how she drags Bambi. She hates Bambi. So that support for those children, her grandchildren, of course, you're going to love your grandchildren, but that firstborn always hit different. You feel me? And it's not even just about being the firstborn. It's about who are you as a woman? If, for example, you are a, the good woman and you are respectful and he didn't get you in like, you know, num number two conditions where you allowed yourself to disrespect yourself and degrade yourself by sleeping with him and dealing with him while he was with somebody else, there's going to be a different respect there. That's why Scrappy was obsessed with money because he was obsessed with Erica. That's why he was proposing to her from before the fame. But Bambi was the side piece. So it's like you basically having his child or his children, they're the black sheep. No, no, no shade or not to be mean, but it's nothing against the kids. But it's it's the fact that she is the woman, the quality of woman she is makes the quality of the children, unfortunately, in people's eyes go down. So the same treatment, like how they go hard for money, like those three kids, it's going to be very difficult. She's going to have to pull that weight because it's like that support. She don't have a village like Erica do because Erica was loved and Erica was respected. Bambi was is the side piece, was the side piece, and was disrespectful more than any girl Scrappy ever been with. Threatened to fight Mama D. Okay, Erica popped off and got got you know real like crazy with Mama D at that dinner table on Love and Hip Hop, but Bambi's over here threatening her like a gang member, like you know literally threatening her life like who does that to their mother-in-law yes your mother-in-law can be a pain in the ass but that just shows that the rat that she is like she tried to act classy but who the fuck you know is a wife and threatening mother-in-law with violence that's ridiculous i've never heard of that in my life like real life violence so like that support that village that erica has bambi's not gonna have that because she's the side piece one nobody respects her and her children are affected by that you know how they'd be like generational curses how it's like okay what you do it trickles onto your kids what bambi did being the side bitch trickles onto her kids she's the they're the basically they're the y'all know how in the black community the wife kids is treated differently from the kid that came from the side bitch that's facts the wife kids, they're the golden children. They're the children that's on priority list, right? And Scrappy failed there. But the side bitch kids, it's like, okay, the kids are beautiful and innocent. We love them, but they're from the side bitch. And always, it's a different respect. They don't respect the side bitch. So the kids, unfortunately, that trick was down to them. 
they don't get came for how e money they rush to e money like okay we we got to do this that, that for e money it's not the it's not the it's not gonna be the same. She's gonna have to pull her weight. Excuse me, I burped. She's gonna have to pull her weight with those kids because Mama D's not giving shit. And if she were to contribute, it's for the kids solely. But Bambi's not gonna get that vi- that village that Erica got, you know. And it's like what that was twenty twenty two. Okay, there's a respect that Erica has that Bambi will never have. People still love her. The world loves her and Mama D and the mothers and people like surround her because she's like Erica like and Imani is Imani. But Bambi, don't nobody give a fuck about her. You know what I'm saying? But people really, really used to. But Bambi put herself on this pedestal, but break down the facts. Factually, look at your life. Look at how he did you. And look at how he is dragging you on the internet. Never has he ever said Erica was ugly under wig and makeup. Never has he ever made a whole video throwing shade calling Erica the side piece. Because Erica was never no motherfucking side piece. Erica was the main, the girlfriend, the wife, the baby mama, the fiance. That that's Erica's, Erica was in position, sweetheart. That's why every single bitch that came and... Bitches came and went. They came and went. They came and went. And Erica still remained. It's like, that's how it is. Like, unfortunately, when a rapper gets famous, they have their wife, right? And then it's like they get famous and they get, they lose control. They start messing with all these chicks, but they never work out. And the only one that remains solid and intact is the, is the woman that they started with. So it's like, at the end of the day, all these things that Scrappy been through in the end, Nobody worked for him. And it's like, Erica was never the issue. These chicks like never lasted. Scrap was the issue. But Bambi, leave it to Bambi. Erica was just this demon and this bitter girl. And it's like, okay, well, I mean, whoever said in my comments that, oh, you know, Erica has it worse. That's because they're another side bitch going hard for Bambi, a fellow side bitch. She probably was sitting in a jacuzzi too. If she can afford one or has one, the one in my comments, probably sitting, if she don't have a, a jacuzzi, she's sitting in a bathtub with somebody's husband. Okay. Cause these are the bitches that visit my comment section on behalf of Bambi. I want to let y'all hoes know that yes, she was a side bitch. Yes. Imani's the golden child. Yes. Erica has more respect in people's eyes from the family down to the fans because Bambi was the side bitch. Her kids are going to be treated differently because she, her kids are the kids of the side bitch. Okay. That's the facts. And then, like I said, with this, Erica, the lack of support that Erica was experiencing is what Bambi is crying about now that don't don't nobody give a fuck about. But Erica was complaining about this because, you know, she's a parent, right? And she was always, she's always moving in the best interest of her child, which makes her a terrific mother, a responsible mother. And so she has a village and that village had to come through. So no, Erica doesn't have it worse because Imani's 18 now. Imani's going to college. Erica's job, like that minor that that bulk of the work that you do like when a child is a minor financially is done your money's gonna go to college your money's gonna go to work your money's gonna be is becoming a woman she's gonna she's gonna um soon be working and in in getting married she's at that age erica succeeded she successfully raised her daughter to 18 and now her daughter is about to be a woman fending for herself she's growing into a woman this girl, Bambi, got three small kids. No, sweetheart. That's a lifelong death row sentence, okay? And it's like, who is going to take you or marry you with three kids and you all over TV in a jacuzzi? What man is going to take you serious? And then not only is your your reputation smeared because you le- you definitely thought Iana, but on top of that, you got three kids. So wait, um, and then a dude's mine. So she got a jacuzzi and all types of dudes in her name. Not not houses, not things she owns, because Mama D says she rents everything. But she got all these dudes and bodies in her name from Compton to Atlanta. She got all these mother freaking um, bills and mother freaking things in her name. Not in her name because she rents everything, but m- meaning she got all these things basically in her name that she doesn't own, which is a liability and a, and a bill. And um, she's faking the funk and she's living above her means and acting like she's, you know, this paid girl that she's not. And um, on top of that, she got three kids. I'm not going for that. That's how men think. Like, I'm not going to wife no thought. And I damn sure enough, I'm not going to take no three kids in. So she's stuck. You know, that's why she's on this internet low-key begging Scrap to come back. Because if you notice, Scrap hasn't said anything. Scrap is binded with his mom. Scrap is in full collaboration and cahoots with his mom. He chose his mother. 
okay? Baby on the internet writing freestyles, low-key begging Scrap to, like, get it together. It's like, girl, no. You're going to be crying forever because Scrap, he already put you in the past tense. He already said he's over with and done with you. Like, it's over with. It's over and done with, you know? So, anywho, I just wanted to show you. See that? 145. That's Erica's check. 145. For e-money. That was for her car. <laughs> That was for her car. And there was something else that Erica did that Mama D had threw shade. I mean, Mama D been throwing shade forever, but we're going to pull all that up, sweetheart. We're going to do a series, honey. We're going to do a series, baby. Because one thing I don't like is people who mistreat people, who treat people bad, who don't do right, who don't have even the, the, the education or the respect as a woman enough to respect another woman. Like, it didn't have to be this way. It didn't have to be this way. I never seen um wow, Erica nailed it. Erica nailed it. She definitely is a 90s beauty. No need for makeup. Couples that pray together still break up. You know what? I can't with y'all. And that's true. But if you put the work in, you know, you can probably make it. Where is that? Um hold on. Better watch out for me. When them papers drop, cashed out my business, not a bag. Cashed out on a business, not a bag. Okay. Yes. She got the owner's title policy. This is basically the deed for her business. She's the owner of the business. She bought Classics Reality. I'm sorry. Classics Realty LLC. And um, that's her store. And she bought it. She got the building. She bought the building. And so she says, when the papers drop, cashed out on my business, not a bag. I hope this inspires someone. I started online seven years ago. My patience and trust in God put me in a position to where I only, I only rented my building for a year. And then I was able to purchase it cash. Exactly. So basically, meanwhile, Bambi over there, her store, she rents it. Scrap was like, she's a basic baby mama. And, and Bambi was smirking at that. That's what I'm saying. That's that basic shit. Because if I was um, Imani's stepmom and in Bambi's position, I would have said, Scrap, no, apologize to the mother of your child. She's not basic. That's just me. But that's why that's why Bambi is suffering how she is. Because you see how I said how I said what I would do? If Scrappy got out of his seat and said that to his to Erica, I would have said, sit the fuck down and apologize. Because that's Imani's mom at the end of the day. She's not basic. She's a very smart girl. She's a businesswoman. I would have really bigged Erica up. You feel me? But that's not the type of animal. That's not the, that's not the type of person that Bambi is. Bambi is a jealous, egotistical, insecure ass female. So she smirked when he disrespected the the mother of his stepdaughter that she fake loved so bad. Never loved the money. She just faked it to get with scrap. So anywho, basic whatever whatever. And it's like she was saying um but um for Erica to boss up and it's like baby she owns her building and that's when she opened when Erica opened up her business Bambi rushed and opened up her her um empty store that the breeze only walks in to because humans don't walk in I've never seen nobody in that store it's always the breeze that's visiting the air the wind sits in the chairs the little furry chairs that look like you know this is for people with fetishes or whatever whatever but um you know she opened up a business like after Erica. Erica opened up her building when Erica got her building, literally. A couple of months after that, Bambi got her business open. And um, that was because she felt stupid because she's telling somebody to boss up. And this person was smart enough to know, I don't want to cash out on a bag. Like, yeah, Bambi is loves to keep up with the Joneses, wants to buy bags and jewelry to look like, you know, the rappers out there in the world because she don't know who she is and she's insecure and living above her means. But Erica was always the smart chick that they called basic, the smart chick that was like, no, I'm not going to go buy a paddock or a Rolex. I'm going to go get me a business and create this generation of wealth. And so Erica went and got her a building and rented her building for just one year. When Bambi saw that Erica opened up a store, this bitch goes and opens up a store. It's like it's like anything you can do, I can't do better, but I'm going to still do it. Like what? Like girl, Erica took her online business and made it physical. Bambi saw that and made her store physical. It's like, girl, you a basic ass bitch. Basic bitches copy main bitches all the time. Basic bitches imitate main bitches all the time. And that's what Bambi was doing. Like you a basic bitch for always thinking materialistic things is it. And you let, 
Erica beat you to thinking about opening up a store, but you're supposed to be a boss, right? I'm a boss. I'm a this, da, 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 da. How? Okay, because you didn't know to open up a store until Erica opened up one. Girl, please. Anywho, exactly, basic wear. I'm very inspired by Erica. If anything, like, if I were to look at somebody that I would look up, like, you know, if I were to, if I were to say that I look up to anybody or I, if I were to look up to somebody, I would look at Erica and I would want Erica to mentor me and talk to me about, you know, business. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where she graduated out of school from. She took business seriously because she's a business entrepreneur. And so she went and graduated from college and she got her business degree. And so I basically would want to talk to her about that. And also as a woman, how she maintained herself strong and intact after you know, all the blows and the darts that the enemy threw at her, like Satan did a lot. <laughs> Satan tried it, but she stayed strong. I would want to know like what kept her going as a mother and also how she kept it together during the trials and tribulations with Scrap, um, personally in her relationship and as a, as a parent with co-parenting with him. And also how does she go about like, you know, business and how does she open it up and stuff like that? Like I would really sit down and want to talk to Erica so she can teach me and put me up on game and teach me, you know, I'm already a boss girl, but like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a business open yet. So it's like, I would want to know from Erica, like, Hey, like, you know, I would want to sit down and talk to her so she could teach me things, but I can't learn nothing from no fucking Bambi. All I can learn from is how to swim on a jacuzzi, like bitch, please. Anywho, you inspired me. I always wanted to open me a clothing store. I don't know where to start. Exactly. Like a lot of people don't know like where to start. They have to go, you know, research and try to figure it out. But Erica would be that girl. Like you would sit down and be like, Hey, you know, can you teach me this? Can you teach me that? You know what I mean? So yes, mama D had left a comment and basically was like, and Erica owns it. She don't rent. That's how I found out that Bambi rented that store because mama D threw the shade. The shade. The shade was thrown. The shade fest. It was thrown. I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, Mama D commented and said, yeah, and she owns the building. She doesn't rent like others. She threw big shade. And I'm like, okay, she rents. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know. Yes, LLC. I can't wait to have that. I definitely want to LLC. I definitely want to go into Airbnb. Like, I want to do Airbnbs. Like, I want to go into the business of doing Airbnbs and renovating them and creating them as vacation spots for people. Like, I want to be creative and deck out a whole Airbnb and have people booking every week, every month, every day to stay at my spot. Like, I really want to do that. And also, I would like to do other things. And, you know, for business period, I would definitely want to sit down with Erica. I think she should, she should have, like, a... um. Those, what do you call it? Those, um, those, um, it's those women empowerment, um, do you know the, 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 the places that they have, the gatherings that they have, and they have different boss women, like different entrepreneurs sitting down teaching people, you know, how to open up this. Cause I did it one time for nurses. Like, um, I had to sit on a panel and talk to younger girls going to college about nursing and the different routes of, you know, having a career so I was basically like the nurse that was, I represent, I represented nursing and I was basically talking to young girls that were about to go to college, leaving high school about the nursing field and, you know, what to expect and stuff like that. So I was on a panel. There's a panel for like business women, entrepreneurship, you know, like, you know, where they have a whole freaking um, event to teach women how to be entrepreneurs. You, you Like Eric should be on one of those panels, like, you know what I'm saying? Or host the event itself. You know, and she, people would pull up. Everybody would pull up for her. I would pull up. I would literally catch a flight to fucking Atlanta to, to go sit and watch Erica. Because I'm a fan. I want to meet her real bad. Real, real bad. Me and Erica cousins in my head real bad. She's the cousin that you pull up and fight for. She's the first. She's the cousin that you love. She's the, she's the cousin that everybody love. Like, she's, she's, she's the favorite cousin. That's Erica. Erica's the favorite cousin. <laughs> Literally, but I can't find it, but um, it's okay. Just know that Mama D left that comment and has, you know, said it on live. But yes, one day I hope that that will be me. Owner's title policy, big, big flex. It's, it's an LLC. It's not rented, honey. That's the difference. One's a boss, one's a, a fraud. One's a boss, Erica's the boss, and Bammy's the fraud. Ah. You and not there for no insignificant 
um, agenda. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like they own shit. You how know? do you? How do you? Shade Scrappy's basically letting you know because this was a shade fest, y'all. Just watch basically this 26 mark, 26 minutes. You'll see Scrappy. It, you know they asked him, hey. And I have to st- keep commenting because you don't want to get, you know, um, this is somebody else's clip. You don't want to take what they own. You got to break it up um, in order to, like, respect that. But um, he was basically throwing shade. And he was basically, um, they asked him, you know, what would you say to someone who wants to get married or thinking about getting married? What advice would you give them? And he was like, you know, the advice I would give that person, including someone who maybe is married and wants to stay married, is this you have to be best friends be marry somebody that's your best friend marry someone like he said that's not there for her own agenda their own agenda you know on some opportunistic type stuff but somebody who's really there for you that shade at bambi bambi always wanted to, d- to be a rapper and when scrappy first um she when she first came on the scene it was always about my career my career even when he proposed to her that day you know, when he walked in, in that little building that he had, and he was basically saying, I'm going to host this place for you where you're going to basically rap and we're going to set you up to perform. She was like basically all about her career. And that's what Scrappy was there for as a crutch. And it's like, don't get me wrong, support your significant other with their career, but don't clout chase or be with somebody or choose someone because of their status, because it's going to always come back to bite you. So I feel like now Scrappy is thinking like, you know, yeah, you know, it was all about what could you do for me? And Erica, she was the girl that, oh, she's basic and, you know, looking down on her. And it's like all because Erica wasn't a cloud chaser, all because Erica didn't, wasn't fame hungry, all because Erica wasn't a fame whore. Like, girls that really, really are down to earth and don't care about this fame shit, they're, we're, we're the ones that are celebrities love to call people like us basic or like to look at people like that are, you know, they like to say regular people. It's like, but what are you? You got two lungs and you got one stomach and a heart like me. You're a regular person too. You just think that the importance of life is not God and family and friends and genuine, you know, happiness within yourself and joy. You think that it's money and paddocks and Rolexes and, you know, G-Wagons and fame. That's what you think in a a career that, you know, puts you in celebrity status. That's basically what's important to people. That's That's what was important to Bam. That makes her basic because... That's not the purpose of life. The purpose of life is to be in love, happy, to multiply, be fruitful and multiply and have a relationship with God and good family and friends and to be successful, you know, so you can eat. You got to eat. You got to work to eat. It's not to clout chase and to be famous and to be a fame whore. Like, no. So Erica, she was definitely low key. Don't care about none of this fame shit. Wasn't impressed by Scrap being a rapper. He was just like, you know, a person that was rapping and it's, it just so happened that's who she's with. And that's the type of girl you want to marry. You want the girl that doesn't care about what you do for a living. You want the girl that cares about helping you to stay quaint, helping you to, you know, not spend the money you make, not using you, but helping you to stay rich. Had Scrappy basically played his cards right and lined him up with a good woman and stopped playing with Erica. And when he proposed, you know, prove to Erica that, yo, I can really be a husband. I can really be what I need to be. That first time when he proposed before the fame, had Erica been his wife because she turned it down because she said she wasn't ready. Had she been, you had he been who he, who he needed to be, I don't think Scrappy would have fell off because Erica would have made sure he was right. I remember there was the episode where Erica was basically trying to put Scrappy on a budget. She said, you spend too much. You need to be on a monthly budget. Erica was, Erica, that's a wife. Erica basically was like, Bambi, Mama D was like, as soon as he get money, you take it from him and want to go buy you a Rolex and stuff like that. But Erica, like she said in that video with her business, I'm not buying a bag. I'm cashing out on a business. That's Erica's mentality. You know, Erica basically is the boss. Like, she's the one. The, she's Keisha K. Orr to Gucci. Like, how Keisha K. Orr basically had Gucci. He was in jail and she flipped that, you know, hundred whatever to, like, what, eight million? That's Erica. If Scrappy lined himself up with a good woman like that who don't care about this fame stuff, he would have probably still, he would have still had money. He would have still been on because Erica would have been like, how she was on the show, you need to be on a budget. And she was like, mm, 2000 3000 He was quoting and she was like, uh-uh, go down. You know, like that's who you need. A woman that's going to protect your bag and make and keep you rich, not spend your money, invest it. Like Erica, er, Scrappy would have been hella rich. Like Erica would have, as a wife, I know exactly what type of wife Erica would be. 
Erica would be putting money, Scrappy's money into businesses. Eric would be cussing Scrappy ass out if he brings him money and tries to spend it on something stupid. Erica would be saving Scrappy's money in the bank. Erica would make sure that he still has money in the bank and not just a song that says that, but really literally has that. Erica would have literally had Scrappy straight. She reminds me of me. Like when I get married, my husband, he will never fall off. And if he were to, it would be, it would have to be some type of, you know, circumstance where we can't control like, you know, some illness or something. But like, as, as long as I'm healthy and smart and able to support, like my, my husband is going to be straight. Like he's going to always have money. I'm going to teach, I'm going to help him, you know, to run the household. He runs the household. He's the head of household. I'm going to be his wife and I'm going to help him to show him like where the money at, where to invest, what to do. Don't spend money on that. Blase, blase. And that's how Erica is. But you know, he married a, a basic, you know, he married a girl that thinks Rolexes is the, is the purpose of life. So what? She didn't do nothing but keep him broke. You know what I'm saying? Had he been with Erica, he would have had money because Erica would have been busy trying to save the money and flipping it, making a hundred thousand to a, turning a hundred thousand to a mill. She would have been busy trying to do that, turning Scrappy into a whole LLC, a business, how she did hers. She would have had Scrappy owning everything he has. You know what I'm saying? But when you align yourself with bums, bum shit happens. You basically married a bum. Anywho as a man to take that because i was talking to a woman about this i say a man or court a woman yeah. spoil a woman yeah. spend all his money on her and by the time some real shit happened to him he find out way too late in the game that they not really there for him yeah but but still in still then i mean the woman don't know though i think i really like this lady but then after sex after some all the little motherfuckers don't be asking the right questions y'all ask everything but the right question like y'all want to fuck the bitch Y'all want head, y'all want to kick it, y'all want to do all this fun shit, but you don't ask the real important questions. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what? What are some of the questions we should ask? Pay attention, y'all. This is the Shade Fest. Bambi ain't, Eric, Scrappy ain't never did Erica like this. Pay attention. What's like giving head? Is, is, is this your real name? Mama D said that basically Bambi didn't have her, her, her name. That's not her real name. Mama D said that that um, Bambi's name is not really her name. That's a good ass question. That's a that's a start. No, for real. Is this your real age? Mama D said that that, that Bambi's not. You know, uh, her age is not real. Bambi celebrated last year what thirty sixth birthday. She said Bambi's really forty. Bambi's forty, and older than Scrappy. But Bambi was like last year celebrating a thirty sixth birthday party. No, sweetheart. Bambi's like 40, and Mama D was saying that too. Bambi lies about her age. Is this how you act for real? How do you look when you, you know what I'm saying, you take all that makeup? Because y'all be tricking motherfuckers. Yeah, for a while. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> how does your hair look when you take that wig off? Ooh, didn't Erica call it, um, Bambi Little Bill? Um, didn't, didn't, didn't Erica call Bambi Little Bill? And I call her Caillou. You know, Little Bill and Caillou, they're just light-skinned, dark-skinned versions of bald-headed. They both bald-headed, but they just, one is light-skinneder, one is more light-skinned, and one is darker. You know what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> he literally is saying Bambi is ugly under makeup and hair. And his baby, his own ex fiance Erica, like, was letting Bambi know, girl, like, I have, when Erica tried to say, oh, you don't never get your, Bambi tried to say, Erica, you don't never get your hair done. Erica was like, this is my hair though. I got hair. You bald headed. That hurt Bambi's feelings. Because now Bambi started to make videos of her real hair, like growing her hair out. Just insecure. You still bald headed and you still Caillou. It don't matter. Or your extensions off. You know what I'm saying? Just like niggas, like, hey, like, what it look like? What you act like when you broke, bro? What, 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 what you look like without a haircut, bro? Like when your hair goes. So yeah, basically he was throwing shade at his ex-wife. And um, you know, he never did Erica like that. You know, that's that's how you talk to a bum. Like, you know, like what you do when you broke, what you look like under your makeup, your hair, what did uh, you know, what uh, your wig, you know, what you are you um what's your real name? What is your real age? These are the things that Mama D was basically telling the whole world on live that, you know, Bambi was lying about. Her age, her name, you know, how she looks. I seen for myself, like, oh wow, you not, mm mm. You look, 
look like a glamour girl when you have on glamour. But if you like bust yourself down, strip yourself of everything you have, you know, on as far as your extensions, your wig, your makeup, what do you really look like? And I saw it. I didn't like what I saw. I was like, oh, now I can see why you're insecure because you know, like, without that stuff, that that shimmer elite or without that makeup, girl, it's a raccoon mixed with a little bit of squirrel. Over and you know what? You have a. Um, what ain't on my birth certificate is kiss ass. Mm -hmm. So, bitch, whatever you keep doing, mm -hmm. I know That's what you right. did. Y'all got married in Vegas. You didn't tell. You got my son to marry you undercover. And because you've been you? manipulative. How old is you? She 41. Right. <laughs> she 41. Oh. Baby 41. Oh. Fuck oh. it. Okay. Scrap it 38. Girl. What? Oh. Baby 41. Oh. I'm done. I'm just over it. <laughs> the fuck is going on? There's so much shit going on. But you still have a beautiful relationship. So, so if you didn't tell me she jumped you on, You still have a beautiful relationship with Imani. Me. So, baby, you know I'm not lying on you. Don't. The way you've done stuff, and I've never said that baby was my son. Uh, Shay never. And you, your insecurities, you pit my son Shay against me. And I can't right. come back from them. Your mama attacked me. Mm -hmm. And I could have died. So, Scrappy, <laughs> I'm going to see my baby. Mm. Bitch, Scrappy, you can be a good dad. You don't need that bitch. Mm. Fuck that. Uh-uh. Mm. I'm done. No, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm so hurt, y'all, that this nigga is so blind. Oh, we mm. so many days that take care of children from afar. It's so, say it. It's so many daddies that take care of mm -hmm. children from afar. And be good dads. And, and good dads. I can't. Mm -hmm. I just can't. You got the mask. I can't. I can't. No, I can't. No, it's the same. I can't. I hear him. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I can't. I love my son. My loyalty is to my son. Um, I'm going to end this tonight with I love Jesus and I love his blessings and I could take her to court to see my grandkids, but I'm a different grandmother, and I ain't got time for that. I make money. Her mama live by yeah, Social Security. Right her, her mama live by Social Security, and I know that her brother has stole from my son. Mm. I did tell my son he called me a liar. What? He called me a liar. I know her brother has been in their home and stole it's like the the hood rat. I'm telling you, like just ghetto. She tries to put on this act like she's high and mighty, but she is a hood rat. Brother stealing from the freaking from Scrappy. You know, mama over here hitting Mama D in the forehead. Um, like the only bird and the only bum and the only basic one here is Bambi. Like the whole family. Like literally, you from Compton and Com and L A is a beautiful place to be. I, I I it's I know of a lot of bad beautiful girls from Compton. And they don't, and they're very polished. Just because you come from the hood, don't mean you got to be your environment. But Bambi is ex her exact environment. She just dresses herself up to act like she's not, or to look like she's not. But she's still, and she still looks cheap. So it's like, at the end of the day, you know, all of these things, you know, stealing, mama fighting, mama D. Mama D said earlier that um, CC attacked her. Bam Bambi's mama attacked her. It's like what? This was the the the, the her such. That's why I'm saying her family situation is so is way worse. Like Erica's mom, they all had issues with Mama D, but Mama D ain't never had issues with no other woman. The way she has issues with Bambi and her family, like Erica's mom was not acting a fool with no Mama D. Like they got into it and argued, but they cool now. Like you running up and you hitting Mama D, like she literally physically attacked Mama D. And then the brother's stealing from Scrappy. Like, you are, that, that is the, if, if, if poverty was people, you don't have to even be monetarily poverty, but you know, they ain't got it like that. But your mentality can be poor because what would possess you to do something like that? You feel me? You got a whole bunch of crooks and a whole bunch of ratchet mothers that don't know their age fighting, stealing. Like, that is ghetto. And then, like I said, Scrappy basically was like, you know, what is your real age? Bambi is like 40 years old. Like I said, she said she's 41. This was three months ago. And um, 
that this live was done. And but just last year, Bambi was celebrating a 36th birthday. Like that's fake as hell. Like who wants to be in a marriage with somebody that won't even be real about their age, bro? Like that's that fake stuff Scrappy was talking about. You're fake, he said on camera. Why would you sit up there in real life on the internet try to cap? And live this lifestyle that you're not really living. Like, you want to look like you, you know, that girl. But you only, you really just failing at keeping up with the Joneses. And then on top of that, you literally, the basic things in life, your name, your age, you're insecure about that. You don't want to say, what's wrong with being 40? You don't look it. Nobody would know that. You're you're not all that, but you definitely don't look like no aged ass, you know, Lisa Marie. Like, you don't look like milk. You, Bambi don't look 41. So what's and what's the what's what's wrong with being 40? Like you should be thankful that you've seen these many years and you're still young. Like 40 is still young, bro. Like every decade you reach in life, you literally mature. Like I basically turned 30 this uh what is it last year March. I left my confusing, crazy, insecure 20s and I was so relieved being turning 30 because I'm like, "Oh my god." I am out of that stage. I'm young as hell. Like I just left my 20s, but my maturity, my mentality is mature and I'm very, very at peace with myself and settled. When you turn 40, that's even better for you because it's like the more you get older, the wiser you get. You know, you get to see your kids grow up. You get to be happy. You're not like, you know, you're less confused because you're getting smarter, you know, wiser. You're, you're just seasoned. So why would you lie about that? It's like you learn about your name, according to Scrap, your age. Um, why? What type of marriage is that where your own wife is holding secrets, you know, and you know them, but she on the camera front and like for the camera. It's like that's some fake ass, whack ass type stuff. And that's why he don't want her. You know, you over here talking about a marriage on, on a freestyle, but this nigga past tense and you like, um, I was married. Like he literally is not claiming you, sweetheart. Like. And someone says, oh, you keep repeating the same thing. I'm going to keep repeating it so I can upset all you side chicks and all you Bambi supporters. I'm going to keep repeating it because it cannot be reiterated enough. I need to reiterate to you side bitches. You will never win. I need to keep reiterating to you side bitches. Jesus did not die for you to be a biscuit or to be Popeye's in a nigga phone. Jesus did not die for you to be, you know, 40 years old playing like you 25. 40 years old trying to go for a rap career and... It ain't rapping or mathing, freestyling, sounding like a toddler. Like, no, no. He wants you to be better and reach your full potential. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, at this point, I'm going to keep saying what I'm saying. And I'm going to keep, you know, saying what needs to be said because these things are sweeped under the rug and nobody talks about them. But I'm the one that's going to bring it to light. If you're uncomfortable because you're embarrassed, if you're one of a Bambi, a jacuzzi sitting asshole, you, you you can't afford a jacuzzi, you just sit in a bathtub with married men, that's your business. Your insecurities is your business. But all I know is that what I'm doing is shedding light to a situation that I feel I need to be repetitive about. And I'm going to make as much videos as I want to. And y'all just going to be pissy, but but hurt and mad just pissy but hurt mad crying on the internet like man me wham 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 go find a bottle get over it ho for my son and i can't do anything Ooh. um it's a lot for a mother to wait in they um, thieving over there. so yeah they thieving <laughs> they thieving and the issue is where do we go from here may god bless my son may he keep him in perfect peace because I cannot no longer monitor his safety. Because he went into the barn, he went into the stable, and he brought out crap. He did. He wait. I can I see some beans? Can I see some beans? Can I see some beans? Mama Absolutely. Because I really don't have to be on Mama here. Mama D, no. you deserve, for real. Y'all tonight. No, you don't. I we love appreciate you. you. I love you for loving yes, me. Yes, and we appreciate... And they telling me to add Bambi next. So, we... It's a, it's, a, it's a lot going on tonight. And we definitely appreciate you stopping past, showing us some love. We want to see you more on here, running your bag up. Also, with your friends. How y'all doing? It was so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. They said Bambi here. And it's like, what are you doing on Big O? Like, that's what I'm saying. You're not focused on your marriage. You worried about what my Mama D saying, but you got a whole husband at home that is low-key unhappy. Like, what?
focus on your marriage. Don't worry about mom, what Mama D doing. Don't worry about who she friends with. So what if she friends with Shay for 15 years? That's none of your business. You going on a show, making your moment on Love and Hip Hop as a wife about a whole other female scrap was with, like, you know, six, seven years ago. That's If that's not insecurity, I don't know what is. And that's embarrassing. And that just shows you how bitches get on TV and act high and mighty, but be feeling so low, so insecure. So insecure where they feel they need to bully. They feel they need to put other women down. They feel they need to like, you know, put on, you know, these clothes and these designers to try to portray like they're confident when these bitches is low in self-esteem and broken inside any fucking therapy. It ain't the bitch in therapy. She needs to continue that because she's fake confident. And that's embarrassing. I know a confident bitch. I'm a confident bitch. Erica's a confident bitch. The shit that she do, Erica don't do. Erica don't throw shade at Scrappy's exes or the girls that he used to mess with. Like, she don't even throw shade at Bambi and she was the whole side bitch. But Bambi kept coming for Erica. Erica never once sent for Bambi. Bambi's always come for Erica. And she used to do that and she used to make Scrap turn try to turn Scrap against Erica as well. And Scrap was bitter himself so they would both come for her when Erica would never send for them. So it's like, you know, like what I look like, bro, that fake confidence shit. Y'all hoes need to get y'all self-esteem up, okay? Because I know an insecure bitch when I see one, when I hear of one. Just tell me a bitch story and I'll tell you that bitch is insecure. You know, her self-esteem is molded. It's 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 like ran through. It's like, you know, it got molded by like her self-esteem is the grass and, you know, life is the lawnmower. She it is just low. Cut the fuck up like grass. And it's so nice. You, so and it's so you, nice meeting you as I'm well. I'm just tired of the fakeness mm -hmm. and fake. She Lying was told age. last season to befriend Erica Mena and um. Hold on, real quick. It's um. Let me see. Um, Bambi birthday. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you something real quick, y'all. Bambi birthday scrappy because she celebrated her birth. She's 40 something, right? Hold on. Look, they don't even know. She's 41, 40, 39. Okay. So it says Scrappy and Bambi celebrate her 39th, 40, 39th birthday. So this was basically, she's saying 41 this year, 40, 39. So she will be 39 two years ago. Then you got two years ago. This is the same, this is the same person. You don't know what her age is. Scrappy and Bambi celebrates. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. That's not the one. That's not the one. Hold on. Oh, I want to add Bambi, um, Bambi diss baby daddy little Scrappy and freestyle. See how, you see how life works? She was calling Erica and doubting her for being a baby mama. This is somebody else. This is a whole nother person. Gossip Q queen fiend. And what are you being referred to as the, the baby mama? Cause what Bambi, this is baby daddy. So now you are the same thing that Erica, you were trying to down Erica for. Do you see how God spins? That's embarrassing. Do better. You're low, you're low vibrational. And it's like, it's not even a, it's not about being the mother of someone's child. It's the fact that she, her whole, her whole mantra and her whole theme was to down Erica because she's better because she's a wife and now you divorced and you a whole baby mama and that's how people are referring to you and this is not even my channel they're calling Scrappy not your ex-husband but the you that's your baby daddy so it's like this is not just me and it's like it's gonna be more people when the show airs I think season whatever they're going to be dragging Bambi by her edges like literally y'all think it's me baby I'm I'm light work this is I'm there I'm being nice if anything but um it was a it was a um thing where it said that um right here it says scrappy and wife bambi celebrate her 35th birthday that's what that was a year ago 35th a year ago how how we go from 35th birthday you scroll up that's what i was looking for and then you see Scrappy and Bambi celebrate her 39th birthday two years ago. So two years ago, you were 39. But one year ago, you were 35. It's not mathing. I don't know that people age like, I don't know people get younger. I thought people get older. So two years ago, you were 39. And then all of a sudden, because she says she's 41, so that would make sense, 40, 39. 
But a year ago, she putting out there that she's 35 just a year ago. So basically, you're aging and getting younger. I thought we age and go older. But according to Bambi, she's 35 a year ago. You know, so this is the inconsistencies I'm talking about. Like you over here having a whole party talking about some you 35 and people you because you lying to the people, the public about your age. And so all of these I've never seen somebody have age like, you know, conflictions on the Internet. Like your age is your age. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it should be consistent. It should not be on multiple sites. That's 35, 39, 41. Like you got three ages, 35, 39, 41. And Mama D, I believe Mama D, she's 41. Her name, that right there, like, um, Scrappy said, that's not real too. What is her real name? What is her real name? Like, I'm telling you, bitches like these are insecure. They want to live the lifestyle that these, you know, like the city girls and sweetie. And, you know, that's what she wants. She wants to be sweetie. She wants to be the city girl. She wants to be, um, who else is out there in the rap game? She wants to be Cardi B. She wants to live that life. She wants to be a rapper, but it's like, sweetheart, you know, the reason, in order for you to win, you have to be authentic and genuine and people have to like you and relate to you. You're not relatable. Not No bitch wants to relate to a bitch that is okay with being somebody's side piece and somebody in somebody's jacuzzi with a married man. You had a thought fest party looking to be saved by a rapper. Like nobody relates to that. Okay? No. Nobody. And Mama D has said something very, very, very real. Um, she said something about how Bambi, because they, her and Scrappy were going through issues, you know, Bambi put herself up for sale. Like, you know, she posted in this sexy bikini and it's like, she came out in this bikini two piece. She did She took the picture on Instagram and I'm like, you're a wife. Why are you dressed like that? Like, like I mean... Rashida, when she's with her husband and kids, her swimsuit, she's her, she, her booty's covered up, all of that. You know, there's a way you dress when you're a wife because you represent your husband. Bambi on the internet, on Instagram, I'm gonna pull it up. But Mama D was like, you know, you putting yourself up for sale. And, and that's true. Like she was been a groupie. So it's like Scrappy not working out. She's trying to get to her next bag. So she's promoting herself like, hey, who wants to get me? Because my my husband don't want me. So who's the next highest bidder? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Hoes will always be hoes. They will cover it up and try to conceal it. But hoes will always be hoes. Okay? So, um, let me show y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Wait a minute. Ooh, she bought me. She bought. Look at my baby right now. <laughs> my baby and my baby. Thank y'all. Y'all bought me. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Hello everyone, please subscribe my channel. You got me messed up. I'm not gonna wake up to that every morning. You got me toe up. It was another um what was that what was that video I saw? Look, Scrappy's wife Bambi celebrates her 36 B day with besties. That was eleven months ago. What? You got all these ages on the internet. 36, 35, 39, and 41. Which one is it? 36. 39. 41. And 35. And also, this is when this is when I said Erica was triggered Bambi when she called um Bambi Little Bill. And I call her Caillou. This is what Bambi did. <laughs> She tried to prove she got hair. So she spent about well, three, four months trying to grow her hair. And what she that. did was she used Scrappy. <laughs> now I'm finna cut. She used Scrappy. She grew her hair for, for like four months because she's bald headed. You gotta wait. She grew it. She did that. And to basically prove to the world that she has hair and she's not bald headed, she used Scrappy. Like fake said, okay, she used Scrappy as a cover up. Like, okay, she's gonna let Scrappy cut her hair. Really, it's like I'm gonna let him cut my hair so the world can see that I got hair. No, Caillou, you're still Caillou. The family wrote in. You're the. What did Erica say? The family pet. That's when I felt. I I knew I loved Erica after she called Bambi the family pet. I called Bambi the family rodent, but Erica gave her some type of respect because I called her a rodent. Erica said I would not talk to the family pet. I said, oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh God! Like she want me to cut it. This is this is when Erica had her press. Look, to walk you through 
through this, it's not going to be that hard. Just do straight across, boo. You got to go behind me. Look, she's trying to prove that she got hair because being that that was around the time three years ago. This was three years ago. Catch the receipts, y'all. Remember, Erica called her a little bill, like you know, basically bald headed, and now she tried to use Scrappy as a way to prove that she got hair. But see, the hair right here is inherent. Your hair is not full. You literally grew this, and it was struggle. You was bald headed when you bald headed, and you grow hair. It's like it's not gonna be as full, voluminous, and natural. It's gonna be thin. It's gonna start off, you know, like you know like struggle straw like you know a bunch of straw not like full thick hair like erica has and she still pressed that bit and looks amazing like no it's not that when you if you still press this you're gonna see a patch because she's growing her hair caillou like it's bald is bald how you finna go from caillou to erica real quick like no that takes time so you can see like it's not as full because I have natural hair. It's not as full and it's definitely patchy. It's patchy. Okay. So what she was trying to do was look like this. Can't stop. Won't stop. Mm -mm. It's Erica Dixon. Okay. So let's grow down to boom the original the blueprint that face it's your face says <laughs> and i'm so happy that erica's mom you know got cleaned up look at erica look at erica in the backyard look at how fucking gorgeous erica is bro like look at look at what she created she created such beautiful little girls and look at erica's face in the back bro get into her face and her bone structure bit and her daddy's handsome and her mom is gorgeous that's where she get it from she get it from her mama and imani gets it from her mama too yes baby if i had a if i had a child like erica and, and my child turned out to be erica i'd be like i know i did that mm-hmm and if I was if I was a man and I had a woman like Erica, she would get. I, I'm smart, so if I was a scrappy, I would have definitely got my shit together. So when I did propose, how he did, I would have proved to her like, okay, I could be a husband. I would never let Erica slip away from me because I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna fumble that. That's that's retarded. I'm never gonna fumble that. Um, where is that video that I was looking for? Okay, this is Erica, her real hair. When it's like, you know, poofy and not silk pressed. Where's that video? I love this. Yes. <laughs> Ain't nobody fucking with Big E, bitch. Understand y'all host position. Ain't nobody fucking with the Don. Ain't nobody playing with Honcho, sweetheart. The chosen one, always. She left him, but she's still that chosen one. She's still that girl. Where's that Where's that um video? This is what made Bambi do that video um on the hair thing. Let me show y'all what it was. I need to order my outfits from Classics. I love Erica's line. Hold on. Where's the video? Uh -huh. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Hold on. I love her. She's around the way, you know, regular girl, but she's like a glamour girl at the, all at the same time. Don't take too much to make her look a gorgeous. She's already beautiful naturally. Don't take too much. She don't have to do too much. She don't have to cake up her face. Just put on a little bit of makeup, do her wig and Erica Dixon. There you have it. Yep. That's the type of girl that I would wife for sure. And I'm very credible. I'm a good woman. So I know a good woman when I see it. Oh, my God. 
damn, <laughs> Erica. It made no sense for that girl to look like that. That girl is a goddess. Child, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. But where's the hair thing I was looking at? And her baby got hair too. Like mother, like daughter. All right, so this is it right here, y'all. This is what Bambi was insecure about. This is what this is the you see that that fullness, that voluminous, that that volume, that struggle ass patch of hair the chia pet had in that chair. That's this is what Erica this is what Erica wanted because Erica was like, you know, um, girl like Bambi was coming for her, and she was like at the reunion, Bambi was like, oh, you don't ever get your hair done. She was like, bitch, this is my real hair. Where's yours? And that right there really had Bambi insecure. And that's why she started to try to prove she got hair. Because it is. Because of this. You know what I'm saying? Us naturally pretty girls. We put on a wig because we want to. Or we do our hair and whatever. But baby, when we take out this hair, it's hair. Whether you got a little fro from being natural, it's more than what Bambi has. Because Bambi is Caillou. I mean, you're not bald-headed. If you got like a little fro, you're in your natural journey process. You're growing. But at least you're not like one hair follicle deep. You got a whole lot of hair follicles, sis. And this is Erica. That's how your hair is supposed to look when you take your hair out. It's voluminous. It's it's full. Bambi shit was like thin as fuck. Like, no, volume and full. That's why that silk press looks so good. If Bambi got a silk press, you ever seen that? Go shout a we can't handle them. You the boy the boy be getting sticky, start a trip, start a trip to chill with you. But now you JBL, you a side bitch, catch your main bitch, feel you a side bitch. So basically, this was a video. This is when Scrappy left Bambi to be with Erica in Miami. So basically, he released his song, and you know Bambi was the side bitch. He left. Bambi and him were arguing and he went to Miami and he literally shot a video called Side Bitch Feelings. You a side bitch catching main bitch feelings. And who was the lead girl in the video? Erica. Exactly. Bambi should have knew then, but she was thirsty. This dude was throwing you all type of hints and signs like, I don't fuck with you. Erica is gone. That's why I married you. Literally, he's calling you a side. He left her to be in Miami. You see that balcony? I know my city very well. That's Miami. He went to Miami with Erica and basically left Bambi and shot a video called Side Bitch Feelings. How convenient. How convenient. Arguing with you and he goes to his main choice, the fiance, and says, you a side bitch catching main bitch feelings. And who's the lead girl? Erica. And who is he on the balcony with? Talking to his side bitch Bambi. Ooh. And this video, it got scrapped. Like, it's removed from the internet. Like, you can get a short but the actual video, you can't find it. I think that Bambi, of course, got it removed. So he put Erica in the video. And then because Bambi's so fucking pressed, she basically now made him put her in a video. Like like a, a, a fucking weirdo. Like, that's what I'm saying. She's the main girl. And the side bitches always love to copy the main girl. He basically is coming to Erica like, that's my shorty. And who is he on the phone with? The plumber, Bambi. That's when he left, literally, when he left um, Bambi to go be with Erica in Miami. <laughs> Ooh, child, that's embarrassing. And then it's like she afterwards, they got back together because Erica basically dumped him again. He went back to um, Atlanta. He was even, he was with Bambi and he was even still subliminally talking about Erica, like, you're not giving me what I need. So it's like the dude felt like, okay, Erica dumped me. She not giving me what I need. Okay, we're not working out. Bambi. He flew back. And that's when he went and did that whole fiasco of chasing Bambi. Like, I'm pretty sure that he made, she made him do that because he surely did leave you to go to Miami. And then when it didn't work with Erica, yet again, he back he backseated your ass and then put you in the driver's seat when Erica got out the car and parked it and went back to Atlanta and put put her in position. But he made it very clear who the main girl is and who the side bitch is. He left the side bitch to be with the main chick and Scrappy was throwing shade. Like he was throwing shade about her being bald headed. Scrappy was throwing hella shade like 
You decide, bitch, catch your main bitch feelings. Relax, little girl. And then, of course, Erica, you know, she rejected him. He goes to get back, gets married. And she wants to be in a video now. You see the full video, three minutes of Bambi. Because she made him scrap the video with Erica. Like, get rid of it. And now Bambi is in the video with him, pregnant. It's like, girl, it's always you to be number two. Erica, do it first. You go do it. Erica, open up a store. You go do it. Um, Like, Erica had Scrappy. You go sleep with him and be with him. Like, you are just ugh, basic as fuck. Side bitch as fuck. Dust all side chicks like Beyonce said. So basically, you know what I'm saying? Erica, she ain't got time, but I got time. You know what I'm saying? I always say that. I have time. I make the time. You know what I mean? Because side bitches need to understand. Disrespectful hoes like Bambi need to understand. You can only be delusional for so long until your world comes crashing down and reality hits you. Like, yeah, you were always you were always number two. You were always the side bitch. The same issues that Erica had, you have them 10 times worse because you got three kids times 18 to, t- to raise. Scrappy don't come through. Was lacking with Erica. Erica was never bitter. You lacking with him too because guess what? You begging for financial support and his presence in the kids' lives. How Erica was not begging but was asking for him to be in because they procreated together. So it's like everything comes full circle. Now you got to deal with that lack times three. Like I said, 18 years. And then you're going to, because so like when you get relieved of one, that one turn 18 and that you're going to have to wait like two, three more years for that one to turn 18. And then two, three, two, three more years of that one to turn 18. So you got all these, you know, life sentences with Scrappy and you're going to have to deal with that. And you're going to have to slay for the rest of your life to take care of those kids because Scrappy not finna, you know, he finna, he not finna, he, he couldn't do it with one, Imani, he got through with you. You're going to be struggling. You're going to look 85. And you only 41. So, yeah, guys. You know, that's my part two of Mo and Baby Like Alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to let these hoes know. Like, hoes never win. And Bambi lost terribly. Terribly. She lost bad. And now you out here being called the baby mama. You're out here a single parent. Everything you used to down Erica for. You're not financially stable. You rent everything. Erica owns everything. Mama D hates your guts more than she could have hated any other girl. She really, really on live talking about you like a dog. Ain't never did Erica like that. Ain't never did um know a girl that um you know um even Diamond. She said what she said about Diamond on the TV show, but she didn't go on this tour of 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 bashing you because of how how you are. She didn't do that with Diamond and Erica. She had regular beef with them, but you. Like, she got issues with you for real, for real, because she's on all type of interviews and lives talking about how how she don't fuck with you as a daughter-in-law. And now that y'all not together, Scrappy is not claiming you. Y'all so very much so divorced in his mind and heart. It's like, baby, you lost bad. You lost worse than any girl could have ever. Nobody lost here except for Bambi. Erica gave the ring back, didn't marry him, was smart. Diamond was smart enough, left him. Only dummy here and the only person that lost bad and really, really fumbled and got molded was Bambi. You know what I'm saying? She's the one that really, 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 you know, is going out sad because she really went from groupie to wife and thought she had a prize and was using her, you know, rapper boyfriend status to, you know, make herself feel important because she's insecure, only for him to leave her with three kids. You a baby mama now, single parent, and everybody else living their life. Diamond living her life. Erica living her life. Erica Pinkett living her life. Shay living her life. He hitting up chicks from the past. You don't know which one. You look dumb. You thought your pussy could change him. You thought you were on this high horse, this chip on your shoulder. You look stupid, okay? Anywho, y'all, I'm finna go order me some food. And, you know, um, yeah. Let this be a lesson learned. Be careful how you treat people. Be careful how you talk to people. Be careful who you put down because God spins the block and will humble the fuck out of you and embarrass the fuck out of you. And what did ha- what happened? Bambi embarrassed the fuck out of herself, okay? Stop dropping these whack-ass freestyles. Stop crying on the internet, boss up, and move on, period.